Hello, I'm John Baker and I've got another NX Quick Tip for you. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the sequencing uh, capability of, of assembly modeling. So what I have here is a, a model I've already built. It's an assembly of a, of a universal joint. And what I'd like to do is to uh, actually cause it to move. And so that's what we can use sequencing for. Now this is not uh, kinematic analysis or anything like that. This is just simple uh, motion that I can add to, uh, to my models. So I go into assemblies, I go into sequencing, and I'm going to create a new sequence, and I want to create a motion. So I'm going to pick a motion, I'm going to define, I'm going to rotate that shaft, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to rotate it. Let's say we go twice around, so I'm going to do 720 degrees. And so it's taken the input, I accept that, and now I can go over here and I can play it back and see how it looks. Okay, fine, there's, there's my motion. Of course, this is a universal joint, and the issue with universal joints is, is that uh, right here it's perfectly aligned, but the reason for universal joint is when you have to transmit power or motion while, where the shafts might be misaligned. Uh, situations like this might be in like a steering mechanism or in a powertrain or any kind of place where uh, it could either move, like in a, a, a powertrain, like, a, like the drive shaft on an automobile, or it's just uh, not convenient to have them line up. So what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the orientation of this. I'm going to put a 15 degree misalignment in here, basically moving the shaft uh, 15 degrees. So now we're going to go back into that sequence and we're just simply going to play it back and see how it plays. So now we can see, so you can watch, we can actually see how that uh, universal joint works. And, and you can see how it articulates and you know revolves back and forth as the as the parts uh, are moving. And of course I could come in here now that I have this little test rig here, I could go in and change the angle, uh, check for clearances at certain angles and so on and so forth, make design changes, go back, see how that affects it. So this uh, sequence can actually be quite useful uh, uh, using a sequence like this without having to go into full-blown uh, mechanism analysis. Because at the moment I'm only worried about motion. Once I know my motion is good and my design is good, then if we need to do uh, things like uh, stress analysis or dynamic analysis, kinematic analysis, we can take this exact same model and just simply uh, utilize uh, those more advanced tools. Uh, but up till now, I know that at least motion-wise, this is a good design. Thank you very much.